Hello everybody and welcome to the Noob Computer Build Gaming PC Builds of the Month for June 2013. In this video this month I am going to do all three of the builds into, into one video, the $600, the $1000, and the $1500 builds. Hopefully it won't take too long, but for any of you who are impatient, on the side here I am going to put links to the specific parts of the video where I start talking about the builds. At the beginning here though, I'm just going to do a quick introduction to the builds this month as uh, um, not a ton has changed in terms of the core core uh, hardware for the builds, and this is uh, because uh, the, of the new Haswell uh, processors, Intel's processors being released. Uh, they are released as of uh, a day or two ago. I wrote this article about a day ago, um, but I, I wanted to see as the month goes on, benchmarks coming in and uh, motherboard uh, processor, the best combinations uh, come the end of the month, so that I can maybe include them in next month's builds uh, depending on on how everything goes through but for the time being i kept the intel 3570k processors for the the one thousand dollar build and the fifteen hundred dollar build uh for any of you wondering why i haven't included a, a haswell build yet but uh as time goes on i'll see how the prices work out and what's best uh to use um so uh, at the beginning of the introduction here, I do say, well, what are your options? Are you, do you build a, a gaming PC build this month? Do you build them next month? Well, it's up to you. You can keep track of uh, what's uh, going on in the Haswell processor world. Uh, you can build right now if you're impatient. Uh, the, the builds right now are just as good as they were last month, and they'll be just as good next month in terms of performance, so there's no downside there. Um, but yeah, let's, let's wait and see. As well, here's a quick uh, little chart for uh, the different models of the Haswell processors coming out and uh, the estimated prices uh, and specifications uh, for these processors. So if you want to co compare and contrast uh, with uh, the Intel processors currently out, the Ivy Bridges, uh, then by all means. All right, moving on, let's get on with it. The $600 gaming PC build of the month. Just as last month, I used uh, the AMD FX 4300 uh, Black Edition processor for the um, the $600 gaming PC build for $119 currently. Uh, it's a great processor, it's unlocked, you can overclock it, uh, which makes uh, for great potential for uh, a $600 gaming PC build. Along with this processor, we have the Gigabyte GA970A DS3 AM3 Plus motherboard. Uh, same as last month, uh, ATX sized, it'll do everything you need uh, for a cheap build, $79 for a pretty uh, high quality mo motherboard, can't go wrong here. <clears throat> Moving on, we have the GTX 660 super clocked 2 uh, gigabyte graphics card for $197.99 currently. The price of this went down as per last month, which is great. Was it super clocked? No worries there. This will increase the potential uh, for performance for such a low priced build, uh, especially when paired with the highly easily overclockable 4 core AMD FX4300. Moving on, we have the usual 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, just as last month, the Corsair Vengeance, $66.99 currently. We have the Western Digital Caviar Blue, 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, plenty of space. If you want more, upgrade to the 1 terabyte or wait until this one fills up, then you should be good to go. Uh, we have a high quality Corsair Builder Series CX500 watt PSU, more than enough power for this build, more than enough power to add Add more if you wanted to in the future. If you were upgrading, adding more uh, peripherals, RAM, whatever you decide, should be enough. Uh, the very affordable NZXT uh, CSNT S210 black aluminum case uh, comes in at $33, which makes, makes it an affordable, good looking case for a budget build. And as per usual, uh, the price of the optical drives overall have went up this month by a few dollars, no big deal, but $20 for your standard basic Samsung uh, optical drive to burn, write DVDs, CDs, whatever you want to do with it. It's uh, fine on you. Um, this comes in at $20.94. All right, that does it for the $600 gaming PC build. Uh, I will quickly go over some of the build alternatives and additions, and then I'll move on to the $1,000 build for some of the upgrades and alternatives. We have the if you wanted to upgrade your processor you have the amd fx 8328 core processor some have uh, asked me whether they should go with this over the intels uh, currently uh, based on the prices and having it having eight cores currently i don't recommend this because 
games don't use eight cores. Uh, they just barely started using the four cores that are out, but uh, it has been said that they will utilize more and more cores. So if that's if you're on that uh, team, then by all means, uh, this is actually it's a really affordable price, and it's a Black Edition overclockable processor. So you really can't go wrong going from that from the, the 4300 if you wanted to bump up your processor. Um, if you wanted a slightly better graphics card, you can go with this uh, Gigabyte Radeon HD 7870. Or, as I said before, if you wanted a one terabyte uh, hard drive, you can go for this Western Digital one for 67 bucks, or a slight uh, case upgrade with this Cooler Master Elite 430 mid tower computer case with a uh, all black interior. It's just a slightly nicer looking case. Has some flashy blue LEDs, uh, side window. So for anyone that wants to spend a few extra bucks, they can they can get this or whatever case you like. But within this budget, I think this is pretty reasonable. All right, now moving on to the $1,000 build for June 2013. Again, we have the Intel 3570K easily overclockable processor for $224. Um, I did not include a cooler again, as this does push uh, us over budget, but um, by all means, get a cooler if you're gonna pump this baby up and overclock it, uh, it'd be highly rec recommended. You can get the Hyper 212 Evo uh, which is very affordable. Moving on, we have the same motherboard, the Gigabyte LGA 1155 DDR3, uh, where is it? The GAZ77N Wi-Fi uh, motherboard, only $118, uh, which is great as built-in Wi-Fi. It's mini ITX uh, motherboard, which I wanted to go for again this month. Uh, I've only done the mini ITX builds for two months in a row, but this has the same potential as a, 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 a larger build, but I think um, having a nice, sleek, compact gaming PC is uh, would be really nice. Such as last month, I included the Bit Phoenix cases. This month, I included a different one. So I'll show you that when I get to it. Graphics card: we have the PowerColor AMD Radeon HD 7950 Boost Edition. This graphics card has went down in price. It was at 299, I believe, last month. Now it's at 284.99. So you save a little bit in the, the graphics department for the same performance. Uh, RAM: 8 gigabytes Corsair Vengeance. Uh, 1600 megahertz RAM. We have a V1 terabyte Western Digital hard drive. No solid state drive for this $1,000 build. Uh, however, I do include one in the build alternatives down below. So if you want to wait for that, uh, we have the Corsair Professional Series HX 750 watt modular power supply for $118. This went down in price from $129 last month. Um, it's a very high quality, high uh, efficiency um, power supply. So highly recommended. Keep your case nice and clean. And now for the computer case for uh, the mini ITX size, we have the newer uh, Corsair Obsidian Series 350D performance uh, micro ITX, which will fit the um, mini ITX motherboard as uh, the side windows and all. It's just like the other uh, Corsair Obsidian Series cases, however, small and compact, makes for a professional looking gaming PC in my opinion. And final but not least, well, yeah, but least, uh, we have the optical Samsung 24 time uh, optical drive DVD writer, reader writer uh, for you to use however you like for $20.95. This build comes out to an estimated $989.55, which leaves a little room for upgrades, shipping, however you want to see it. Um, moving on for the build alternatives for the $1,000 build, we have the 128 gigabyte. If you wanted a solid-state solid drive, we have this Crucial M4 128GB hard drive for $129.99 for those of you that want a boot drive or a drive to boot up your games faster. We also, if you ever in the future or now want to do a little bit of Crossfire, we have the another uh, Radeon HD 7950 Power Color Boost Edition graphics card. Or if you wanted a single card to upgrade, we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 670 2GB uh, graphics card for $363. As well, as I mentioned before, you can add a CPU cooler for $33.24 uh, going with this Hyper 212 Evo. Highly recommended if you're overclocking. Now moving on to the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for June 2013. Estimated price comes in at $1,483. Um, this build will pretty much play anything. And uh, I didn't mention it earlier, but because of this, uh, not many changes in these this month's builds, I am, as per requested from a few people, doing a $2,000 build this month. This will come up in a separate video and a separate post, uh, so keep posted within the next few days um, if you are interested in that budget range. Uh, we have 
as I said, the Intel 3570K, just as in the $1,000 build. I have included the cooler this time, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, $33.24. Uh, we have kind of a cool motherboard this month. I don't know if any of you have heard of the MSI uh, Gaming Series motherboards. This is the G45 edition. Uh, very cool motherboard. has uh, potential for SLI, Crossfire, uh, whatever you uh, want to go. But it's, it's streamlined for quote-unquote gaming. Um, it's supposed to decrease your lag with a specific type of gaming, Ethernet connection, etc., etc. Don't take my word on that, but it's a really cool motherboard, especially for the price at $139. If you want to check out the, the article that where I write about it at the site at noobcomputerbell.com, by all means, I link to the specifications on the MSI site, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, moving on, we have the Sapphire Radeon HD 7970 uh, Overclock Boost Edition uh, graphics card for $399. Um, which is a great card. It'll play anything right now, easily, all the way up to resolutions of uh, right here, 2560 by 1600. Uh, moving on, we have the one terabyte uh, Western digital hard drive again. Plenty of space, unless you want to upgrade that to another one terabyte or a two terabyte, up to you. But this is, uh, I think, fair enough for this build. As well, I include a pretty hefty uh, solid state drive at $230. Uh, we have the eight, uh, Samsung Electronics 840 Pro series, which has faster read and write speeds than the non-pro series and uh, other uh, solid state drives in this department. So it's a, it's a pretty good buy for those of you that really want to increase some boot speeds. Uh, we have the Corsair Professional Series AX Series 750 watt uh, modular power supply here. It's the highest in the, the Corsair Series line um, in between the HX, AX and uh, um, power supplies. Uh, it comes in at $149. Uh, the case I included this month is the Antec 900 Black Steel ATX case. Uh, this is almost a classic now. It uh, came out in probably a couple years ago. Uh, it's really priced really well now at $98. But however, I decided to include it because it's still a good case, still has good reviews, and it has been used for quite a while. So my, why not? I uh, used a fractal design case last month, so I thought I'd change it up a bit. And finally, we have the Samsung 24 times uh, DVD drive for the $1,500 PC build, uh, which kind of makes the build come in at a total of $1,483, uh, just under budget. Going down to the build additions and alternatives. Uh, if you want to boost up your processor, we have the i7-3770K. If you want an i7 over an i5, by all means, it's not super needed. For, uh, super needed. It's not really needed for gaming, but you know, if you have other uses for your PC, it's good. Some games maybe. Um, this comes in at three hundred seventeen dollars ninety eight cents. Uh, you can get uh, liquid cooling if you want it with this Cooler Master Side and two forty M, uh, ninety four dollars. Uh, crossfire and be crazy and go with another uh, Radeon 7970. Uh, by all means, go with it. Uh, that would add another 400 bucks, and then you go with, uh, or you can go if you if you want a higher solid state drive, or just go with the solid state drive. It's a uh, not the cheapest price, but it's it's priced pretty well now for a five 12 gigabyte solid state drive and the Samsung Electronics Pro. This one comes in at four hundred dollars and sixty eight cents. All right, that does it for this month's builds. Keep uh, Keep checking back uh, as next month I will most likely include Haswell, uh, Haswell builds, the new Haswell builds, um, if you are so interested and depending on how things pan out throughout the month with a certain motherboard and processor combinations, I will keep up to date with the benchmarks uh, and then uh, do my builds based on that. Also, if you are interested, check back uh, or check back or I will link to uh, the $2,000 build for this month. Um, which will be coming within the next few days. All right, thank you, everybody. And if you have a comment, please leave it below. Or better yet, please visit the website, read the article, and leave a comment there. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.